All right, so I genuinely don't know if I've made an AFL like trade and news discussion video within the last three years. It has probably been a very long time, but something has caught my eye that I'm just like so interested in that I was like, holy shit, I, I, I kind of have to make a video about this. And as a Richmond fan who has absolutely gone through it so far in this 2023 AFL season, I was just like, yeah, you know what? I've got to get some stuff off my chest. I've got a bit of hair on there. It's time to shave it off. And God, that was disgusting. I don't know where I was going with that. But I've got to, I've got to talk about this recent report that I believe was coming from multiple different guys. And I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. But this report does suggest that the Richmond Tigers are extremely interested in trading or signing rather Harry Himmelberg in the upcoming free agency and are going to be pursuing him quite hard. Now, this report does just say that rumors are going around that Richmond are very keen to lure Harry Himmelberg to Punt Road at the end of the year. There are a lot of clubs chasing him, Mitch Cleary said on the Tradies podcast. I'd have Sydney and Richmond right at the pointy end for Harry Himmelberg. Co-host Sam McClure added, I'd have Richmond in front. Richmond recruiter, uh, recruited midfielder, ty uh, fucking Jesus Christ, bro. You can tell I haven't done an AFL video in a while. I'm having like genuine Tourette's trying to read out this shit. Richmond recruited midfielder Tim to, or maybe I just can't read. That could be true as well. Let's try this for a third time. Richmond recruited midfielder Tim Torano and Jacob Hopper from GWS last trade period. And it is the presence of the former which could help the Tigers lure Himmelberg south. McClure asked, is he close mates with Tim Torano? And Cleary responded with, incredibly close. I'd go as far as saying they're best mates. Big Harry is enormously talented and has probably just started to enter his prime. He's already taken two genuine Mark of the Year's contenders by round five, and he's also very flexible and can play either end of the ground. However, I'd imagine he'd be recruited as a forward. All for this, he's a free agent. We don't have to give anything in return. He's only 26 and has a lot of good footy in him. Thoughts? And a lot of Richmond fans got pretty, uh, you know, kind of vocal in the comments and all this type of stuff, just wondering, well, what's going on? Ask a couple of questions and all this type of stuff. I think Tiger Ambush answered some of this pretty good. Someone asked, with what pick? Tiger Ambush said, free agent. Uh... The Richmond Journey said, restricted free agent, isn't he? It means we either offer him big money, which we don't have, or picks. And that's why I am a little bit like, well, yeah, th there could be a bit of an issue here because I did hear, I'm pretty sure that Harry Himmelberg is a restricted free agent, which means that if Richmond offer him a lot of money and GWS don't decide to match it, Essentially, GWS, I believe, will be given a compensation pick in return and they can let him walk to Richmond for free or they can match it and Richmond would have to go through trade. Lucky enough for the Tigers, there's actually a way they get this done pretty easily, I think. And I think this is a really, really good idea and a good trade that could definitely happen that someone actually pointed out in the comments here saying that Kingsley is a big fan of Hugo, Ralph Smith and Soldo. Package them up and off to GWS they go. Make it happen. Now, this is why I'm also really like, this makes a whole lot of sense. I'm not too sure how big of a fan Adam Kingsley is of Ivan Soldo. But for those of you who don't remember this, Adam Kingsley, the former Richmond assistant head coach, who is now GWS head coach, really made a push last trade period to try and get Hugo Ralph Smith to the team because he thinks he showed a lot of potential and could be an absolute star in the AFL. Richmond, though, I don't think they really think that. Hugo Rollsmith has really struggled to get a game this season so far for Richmond and hasn't really been given much of a go. And when he has been given a go now, he just seems insanely uncomfortable and I think... Um, I wouldn't say scared, but I think just uncomfortable on how... He's kind of bouncing back from VFL, bouncing back from AFL. But in a team like GWS, he would be in consistent 22. He'd have his spot. He wouldn't have to worry about going to the VFL. And all he has to worry about is performing his best and developing as a player. At Richmond, he hasn't really been able to do that. Um, even though we're 16th at the time making this video, 
we should hopefully win a couple more games. And again, I think Hugo Roll Smith, who had a terrible game against Melbourne as a sub, will probably be back out again. I'm not too sure when this video comes out, we'll know the team. The game against Gold Coast might have already happened when this video comes out. I'm not completely sure. But at the end of the day, Richmond don't value Hugo Rail Smith, I think, as what a lot of teams do. He hasn't really been able to have the opportunity that he should have. And even when all of these players do retire from Richmond in the offseason, like Trent Cochin and whatnot, which I expect to happen, I still don't think that really opens up a confirmed position spot at all for Hugo Rail Smith. He doesn't fit that position. There are a lot of other players who are in front of him, like Jack Ross, I think, who deserve to be playing in this team. I think it would be best interest for both GWS and Richmond to maybe connect on a bit of a trade here. And if Arn Soldo hasn't played for Richmond this season, he's been injured, and GWS still don't have a, like, Ruckman at all, I don't think. I think the Ruckman they've had, I just don't think are very good. And I think they can definitely improve there. And you've got a Premiership Ruckman who's still only 27, who hasn't played much footy in the last couple of years, looking to really burst out on the park. Sitting right there, you can basically get in this trade. They weren't as keen on Solder, I don't think, last time. They did try and package him in, but Richmond ended up just not doing it. And I don't know, it kind of fell through. They, I don't think they're as keen on him as they are Ralph Smith, but I, I still think this trade could genuinely get done. I think it makes sense. I think if you're Richmond and you'd offered up Hugo Ralph Smith and Ivan Soldo, and you ask for Harry Himmelberg back, this really works for both teams. First of all, GWS get a lot younger with Hugo Ralph Smith, who would be awesome for their team on the halfback or the wing. They also finally add a Ruckman, which makes so much sense for this team and helps out their really underrated midfield. And then Richmond, flat out, you just bring in Harry Himmelberg to be your forward pocket, who I'm a huge fan of, who is your Jack Rewalt replacement. He's 26. He'll be there for at least the next four or five, you hope so, in very good form and whatnot. It'd be a very good Jack Rewalt replacement. It would make a whole lot of sense, I think, for both teams. And you're both getting a really good trade out of it where no other team has to lose a pick. I mean, if anyone was to trade a pick, Richmond might have to throw in a fourth to sweeten the deal up a little bit. But realistically, they probably won't. I think this trade is pretty fair and it probably gets done. And I think it improves both teams. And it's just really a win-win trade, which you don't always see in sport. But the AFL seems to manage to find a way to win-win on these trades. And I think, yeah, this is, a, this is a good trade for both teams if it does happen. Do I think Harry Himmelberg will come to Richmond, though? Probably not. From what Damian Barrett said in other reports, he said he's really keen to stay in Sydney. I know that Sydney are also really interested in him, so they could be on there. But I think... Why why, to, why leave GWS, you know? Like, I still think there's a lot to offer there, and I think maybe it's because he doesn't want to play back pocket, which he keeps having to switch to. Fair enough. I'd be happy to take him at Richmond. He'll probably be commanding around 600, I think, or so, 550 to 600. I think Richmond can get that done. They'll have a ton of players who are on money, like Jack and Cochin on 300k each, retiring. A couple other players here and there, they'll, they'll be able to fit Harry Himmelberg, I think, in that salary cap. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think getting Harry Himmelberg to Richmond would be a very good idea? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my IRL slash long channel and my gaming channel, which will all be getting linked in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.